Right, so if anyone is wiring a underfloor um, heating with heat miser UHA RF V2, uh, I'm just going to quickly explain to you how the wiring is done. Right, so with a combi boiler, so this is my combi boiler Eco Elite or Elite. Okay, now what I'm going to show you first is this is my fuse spur. Okay, so with my fuse spur, um, I've taken the connection from my socket. Okay, right now it's isolated, but I'm just going to run you through how I wired this. Now, the first thing I did was um, make sure you follow the wiring diagram. Uh, I'll put the wiring diagram on the um, video um, as a snap so you can see it. Okay, right. So this is all now going to be connected wirelessly um, and I can also connect it on my um, app. So that's why this UH8RF32, this is what this version does for heat visor. Right, so I've got two zone valves here. As you can see, if you follow this pipe here, this is my flow, which is goes into my a manifold. Okay, so that's all for my underfloor heating. Right, this um, zone valve here is going to my radiators and it's all going upstairs. So these two are connected separately. Okay, now my manifold has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight loops. Okay, three for my kitchen, two for my middle room, two for my front room, and one for my passage. Okay, now this is the wiring bit that now um, we're going to try and f understand. Okay, so it's actually pretty straightforward. It's not that difficult if you follow the wiring diagram. Okay, so you've got, uh, if you follow the wiring diagram, to the exact T, okay, it's pretty straightforward. It tells exactly uh, which terminals to put which wires into, okay? Now, this one looks a bit more complicated than what you think, okay? Um, right, so, the only thing that I got stuck on, okay, because the wiring diagram didn't explain it too well, was, uh, if you look here, um my common okay um so this common here okay which is um connected to the main live that is coming into the circuit okay so this is as you can see was a zoom underneath so you can see look as you can see is the common terminal here with this brown wire is connected to the main live terminal of the connector block okay that was the first thing which i was uh, which wasn't clear in the wiring diagram and the other thing which wasn't clear was also the switch live okay which is going from the zone valve okay which is going from the zone valve okay that also needs to be um connected as well um that also needs to be connected um onto my switch live onto my boiler okay which is this black wire here as you can see it's coming from this cable here which is then going into my boiler block terminal block um switch i mean sorry live neutral earth and then you've got your switch live Okay, so that was the other confusing bit. Um, otherwise, everything else um, seems okay. So obviously these wires are my actuators. They just, you just um, put them accordingly to which uh, loops you have. So I've got three, two, two, one. So I'm not using one. I've got some missing empty blocks here because I'm not using all of them. Um, so you can see these are pretty straightforward, just live and earth, I mean, live and neutral, that's pretty straightforward. Um, otherwise, if anybody is deciding to wire this up, um, it's, uh, it's not that difficult to wire it up. Okay, so just to just show you, 
So if I switch this on, okay, the light comes on and the power comes on, okay. I'm just going to switch it off. If anyone's not sure, post me a message and I can maybe answer your questions if you're unsure.